Okay guys, welcome to a, a sort of a main meister 10 minute mashup type thing, um, except what I'm doing this time is I'm taking a look at the new version of uh, Ghosts and Goblins, which was released by the same crew that did the update to Commando, I think they call it Ghosts and Goblins Arcade. Uh, what they've basically done here is I've taken the original Commodore 64 version released by Elite and they have basically just given it a complete overhaul. Um, they've added in extra levels, they have uh, they've completely redone the graphics. Now, on the left hand side, I do apologise for the lack of sound. Um, now, unfortunately, when I did the Commando game, I was able to play both games at the same time because the sprite moved obviously up the screen at the same time, so you could, I could actually play both games at once. But with a game like Ghosts and Goblins being a platform game, I did try it and it's absolutely impossible. You know, it's completely out of sync. Um, you need the, the wee man to be moving up the same ladder at exactly the same time. So I couldn't possibly do that. So all I've done here is uh, on the left hand side is the new version and on the right hand side is the old version. Um, they're all from time to time sort of synced together so you can kind of compare the similar levels. You see on the left hand side there, I mean the trees have just got more kind of refined kind of textures. They look more realistic. You'll also see um, the little tombstones. You'll see these tombstones about to jump over in a second, eventually. That's on the left hand screen. It looks uh, a bit more detailed. Also on the left hand side you'll see they've now got the little mountains that appear in the uh, original arcade version. But it just, it plays just a lot smoother, it feels a lot nicer to play. Um, now I don't, I'm not sure if it's maybe there was a different filter or something switched on, but if you look at the, the right hand side it looks very kind of pixely, and garish, it looks almost too sharp, whereas the one on the left I may have had a filter on, I'm not too sure, but because I've used the extra kind of colours and textures, um, it just looks that, that bit nicer. I mean, controls are the same, pressing up on the gamepad or the joypad makes them jump. You've seen the left, it's a, it's a multi-load because obviously they've got more, uh, I think it's one level per load sort of thing, because obviously they're taking up a lot more. But yeah, look to the left, you'll see the wee mountains made then up here, you can see in the right. There's no mountains in that one, and the trees just look that bit nicer. The actual, uh, is it Sir Lancelot? I can't remember what his name is again in this uh, game. He just looks that bit shinier looking. I can't see any real difference in the zombies. They all look pretty similar. But yeah, you can see the wee gravestones. On the right hand side, it's just got the wee blue, but on the left, they do look more like any gravestones. But uh, it's absolutely worth checking the game out, it's completely free to download. And I do believe it works just as well on a, a real piece of hardware as it does um, on an emulator. Probably tell it's just as hard as it always has been. It's a, a stupidly difficult game, and um, what they've done in the uh, the, the new one, they've uh, they've actually built in sort of cheat modes and level skips and that kind of stuff. So you can, you know, you, you can uh, make it easier if you want to. But yeah, you can just see there it just looks a bit nicer on the left hand side as it does on the right. I mean, the right the original game was an excellent conversion. Kind of slowed up. If you look there, you can see they've slowed up the animation slightly of uh, your character. Now these wee guys there on the left, again, they do look more detailed. Wee bit here, and these are absolute sods. Yeah, you'll see here the wee flying things, they just look that bit nicer than the newer one. Let's 
it's one of the few bits where it's actually kinda lined up gameplay wise. <laughs> Now you'll see on the left in a second you get the wee level intro bit. Well you get the wee bit here, that, which well I just skipped it, but you get the kind of demon coming down and taking your girlfriend. That was never in the original one. Sound effects have been kind of changed as well as has the music. Well, I've got to say, the music was probably one of the most favourite bits of uh, the original one. But, you know, they've still done a cracking job. And you can actually play the original with the original music as well, with the original graphics, if you want to. Yeah, you see, you saw there for a split second, you get the weekend level, not so much a level select, it kind of shows you a level preview sort of thing. Which again, was never, it was never in the original one. Be really uh, interested to know if these guys have got another project they're going to work on. I'm guessing they probably do. I mean, uh, these guys obviously don't do this for money, they do it because they enjoy it. But I'm just trying to think of a game that I would really like to see um, possibly here come through. I'd love to see a good version of that released. Although so far they've picked two, uh, well, it's both been two elite games, both uh, Capcom, so. Possibly, uh, not Street Fighter. Well, yeah, I suppose Street Fighter 2 would be interesting to see, but um, possibly Final Fight. I'm not too sure. And the level on the right, that's a really, really hard, but trying to master the jump. I think if you had a separate button for jumping, it might make it easier, but I mean, I'm using the sort of analog stick in a 360 controller. Which, uh, if you don't get it bang on, you'll just fall to your death. You'll see there on the right, obviously on the original, I'm now on the second level. Although I do eventually get to the, the second level on the, the, on the new one. See the new level bit coming up? Oh, you're not going to see it. They aligned again, we're almost on the same sort of screen. Yeah, it just looks that much more refined. Really nice. They've obviously added in a lot more kind of textures, more kind of colours, there's a lot more browns in the soil, which just make it look that bit more realistic. And again, they've kind of, if you look at the zombies walking on the right, they do shuffle along quite a bit quicker, whereas on the left they seem to, you can actually see their wee feet moving that bit clearer. So yeah, they have, they've, they've just taken the original graphics and just tarried them up a wee bit. One thing you need to bear in mind though, the original game was all in a single load, whereas uh, the new one is one level per, one load per level, so you know, that's testament to what a great job they actually made in the original version. Almost aligned again. Here we go. Yep, we're aligned up once more. <laughs> These wee guys are absolute sods because when they hit you, they kind of bounce you back the way. And it's nine times out of ten they bounce you straight into the water, which I'm probably going to demonstrate. Oof. Right, go on, go over, that's it. Still kind of in the same line, are we going to get to the... Ah, bollocks, the guy on the left just died. <laughs> now I think, I'm not 100% sure, I think they seem to have introduced the uh, sort of restart points in the, the new version, which is a bit of a blessing, whereas the original seemed to almost 9 times out of 10 push you right back to the very start. I think they've got more, I 
think there's more uh, restart points. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what happened there on the left. Um, it didn't do like that. It didn't do that in the game, but obviously it's just some sort of artifact thing going on with the video. But it does correct itself. There we go. Now, at last, in the sec in the new version, we're now going to go on to the second level. Now, I can't see too much of a difference. I would actually really need to see both levels. Now, I notice the water moves in the left-hand one. Does it do that in the original one? I can't honestly remember. I wish I had a better way of actually comparing these games, guys. But you'd need to... I would really need to be cutting and editing so you can see exactly the same level, but... I've really not got the, the time nor the patience to do that, so uh, hopefully... <sighs> I was almost into the, the second bit. Yeah, hopefully this will be enough to let you see, but... Yeah, I mean, it's... Initial... Impressions is the second level doesn't look that much different. Hopefully... Hopefully... Come on, kill the bad guy, and don't die. Whew, right, here we go, we're going to get to see the second level for at least a second, maybe. Yeah, water doesn't move. Yep, the platforms look that bit more refined again. Nicely shaded. So there is... There has been quite a bit of work done in it. Well, I've just died. And I'm now back to the start again. In the new version. Oh, I've died in the new, the old one as well. Anyway guys, listen, that is it. I hope you've enjoyed watching that. And uh, as usual, thank you very much for watching.